Wub wub, this is my intro. Wub wub. Welcome back, Guardians, to a different type of Destiny video. Ugliest warlock ever in Destiny. Before we get into a quick sell out moment, hit that little subscribe button and the little bell next to you become part of the notification squad of the Snowman Army. Hit the like button on this video to share it out there to more people. It will help me grow and I love you guys for your support. And leave some comments down below telling me how ugly my warlock is. Now I'm going to show you in just a second. But I have recently been playing with this setup because it's the closest that I can get to tier 12 on my warlock. And I have actually physically got messages in my Xbox inbox saying you have the ugliest warlock ever. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Now I have chosen some bad shaders as well before I was using things like Midas or Super Black. So it didn't look as bad, but I wanted to show you this, this, this warlock. So are you ready? You ready for it? Oh, look at how ugly I am. Oh no. <laughs> First and foremost, I just want to say there's way too much going on on this arm with the bond and the gauntlets, the exotic gauntlets. It's just way too much going on. So let's just go into my inventory so you can see me properly. Look at how ugly I am. So I got the iron banner boots, I believe that is, and the um, iron lord chest piece. And then I've got the, obviously, Vault of Glass Helmet and the Ophidian Aspects. I have the Bone Circlet Warlock Bund. And it all goes together quite horribly. But look at how close I am to Tier 12. It's a shame that it's not exactly Tier 12, but it's the best that I can do. So I chose a really bad shader to showcase this um, horrible, horrible armor off. The thing that makes it look really bad, in my opinion, is the helmet with the ornament on stays one color it doesn't change color if i take it off then it kind of kind of goes together with everything and it doesn't look as bad but you know if i want the ugliest warlock and i want the um the gaze dude's eyeball head thing what are they called i can't remember what they're called so anyway let's have a look at some different shaders on this armor and i challenge any of you guys to tweet at me your ugliest setup that you could possibly figure out find out and all that stuff you can find my twitter down below in the video description so let's have a look i i asked some guys on twitter i was like what's your worst shaders and i got a lot of responses so i pulled them all out of the um shader kiosk and we're gonna have a look at them first and foremost on quiet spirit which is i can't remember the shader but it just looks horrible it's all shiny and green illuminous the chest piece is too dark and then obviously the helmet doesn't change color so it looks bad but it doesn't look as bad as some of these we have Sephirian blue that is a yellow one with a blue helmet with a little bit of green on the legs so it's kind of just odd because you can only see the greens on the leg a little bit on the arm but again not quite as bad as some of the following ones we have magma magma liquid hot magma so this makes you fully like gray like a greeny gray but then you get this horrible orange belt it just uh oh uh, uh, it looks horrible next we have brush fire which is one of the new the newer ones which just gives you this burnt orange look and it, again this isn't that bad but with the helmet not matching colors it just looks bad and it's not really that good of a shader anyway next we have bayo wolf which was suggested a lot and obviously you can see this just looks like a mismatch of horrors we have orange blues whites light blues for the helmet and it just looks disgusting in my opinion it's the worst next up another one probably the most um requested one which is bright laurel the yellow one from srl i haven't actually seen this yet because i just pulled it out but uh you see it wouldn't look that bad if it wasn't for that triggering orange belt in the middle if it was yellow, it would it would kind of look okay, but that is triggering me that orange color belt in the middle. I hate it. Next, Lion Dancer, the McDonald shader. Everyone wants this. Everyone wants this. And oh no, oh no, it looks horrible. Oh, it's the worst. I don't like it. And then last but not least, any future Warcourt shader was asked. So I went through and I picked one at random. I didn't even choose and look at them. I picked Babylon 9191. Let's have a look. Oh my God, no. no I kind of like the blue color though. The blue color, the bluey purple kind of looks badass, but it just, oh, uh, oh uh, no, it just doesn't look good at all. I think the worst is probably, I don't know, the bright laurel for me with that triggering orange belt. It has to be that one for me. It just, oh no, it doesn't look good. Oh God, stop it. I'm just going to go no shader. Let's see what no shader looks like. 
I actually doesn't look that bad with no shader. But this is my ugliest warlock, and I suppose because it's so mismatched and there's so many different things going on, the chest piece ornament, the, these um, Iron Lord ornamented chest, chest pieces, armor pieces, only really work when they're all together. So I've got this fiery wolf on my chest, and then... Oh, oh no, it just, no. It's just, no, it's just the arms. Look at the arms, there's too much going on here. Like, how does he run it? Does he run like this? Because it's getting weighed down, <laughs> right? Oh, no, I just wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit more fun with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think this is the ugliest warlock ever? Send me pictures on Twitter of your ugly characters, and we'll have a little bit of a laugh of them. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.